can you even believe that this video and this one as well are completely AI generated? So in this video, I will show you how you guys can create exact AI influencer. So without any further ado, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel before we begin, and let's get straight into it. Now, to create an AI influencer, first, we are going to use this tool, which is called tensor.com art so this is basically a completely free tool to use and i will also put this link in the video description below so you guys can just pause this video and go to this link now make sure that you sign in with your google account and here you will see how many of the credits you get so you get around 100 credits if you sign in so this is what i think you should definitely do so make sure that you sign in with your account now here then go to home page and now first we are going to create our own image of an ai influencer and then we are going to convert it to the actual video so here on this website just simply here click on create and then here click on creation now here which is very important you will have to choose the model so by default this is stable diffusion xl here i'm going to click on this and here i am going to search for flux and i will go with this first model which is the most used one as you can see it has 4 million of uses so i'll click on this one so now we selected this basic model and here you will also have a question the author recommends the following parameters do you want to apply them here make sure that you just click on use recommended and then down below you have aspect ratio settings like portrait landscape and square i will go with the landscape and here you have sampling steps so here, as you can see, it means that sampling stamps refer to the number of iteration the AI uses to refine your prompt into an image. I will leave it as it is, as well as the guidance scale, I will leave it to 3.5. Now here, you also have down below advanced settings. So if you want to play with these settings, you can also do here as well. Now I'll go up and here we have the prompt. So here, what I will type in, I will type in a girl sitting in a gaming chair in her room. She is smiling and has pink hair. So something like this. And then you can also add your negative prompt if you want to. And then we here, we also have other settings as well. So here you can see that you can also click on this and this will improve your current prompt. So if I click on this right now, I should wait a few seconds and we should have more substantial prompt here. And here for the images, I will go with two. And this is pretty much it. So the most important part is that you have the right model here selected and also that you have the nice prompt right here. Now here I'm going to click on generate and right now let's see what images we will get from this free tool. By the way, I will leave this tool in the video description below, right below the like button. So if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure to just smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And if you're interested, I will also put every single AI tool, which I think is worth using in the video description below as well. So make sure that you check it out. So here we have two of our images. This is the first one, which looks like this. And then we have this second one. Now here you can also see steps, sampler, K sampler, schedule, and other stuff as well. So I think both of the images look quite good. So what I'll do here, I'll click on one of the images and here I'm going to click on download. Now, once this is pretty much done, so when you have the AI generated image, now we're going to use this tool to convert the image to the video so here once on this website which i will also put in the video description down below by the way you guys can just simply click here to upload the image now i'm going to select the image which i got from the previous tool so i believe it's this one right here and now once we have it here we will have to add our own prompt to this tool so what i'm going to do here i will just copy this prompt which we got from tensor.art just like this and i'm going to go here to the the co-pilot from Microsoft. I'll change the mode to creative and I will type to it, write a video prompt from this mention camera angle is from the ceiling. So this is pretty much it. And now co-pilot will come up with simple 
prompt for our video. And I think it looks okay. So here I'm just going to copy it just like so. Click on copy and now I will paste it right here. Now I think it looks okay. So here you can also see that we have enabled this prompt refiner. So I will leave it to on, but you can also turn it off if you want to. So here I'm going to click on create and let's see right now what video this tool will actually generate. And now this tool finally finished generating the AI video. So here we can take a look at it. So this is how it looks like. Now, unfortunately, it does have the watermark right here. And I think we can also make it even better. So here, the next tool which we need to use to make this video better is called Korea.ai and their AI video enhancer. So here on this website, I think this one is also free to use. So just cl click here on enhancer and then upload your video. Before that, make sure that you actually download it from this website. Now, once here, click here to upload your video, which I think is this one right here. Click on open and now just wait for it to upload the video. And once this is finished, you can here pretty much select the frame rate. Here, I'll go with 120 and upscaling factor of 1.5x. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And now let's click on enhance and let's see what this tool actually does here. And all, this is the video before enhancing and this is the video after the enhancement. So I think it looks okay, but I think it still is an AI video. We can clearly see that it's the AI video generated with AI tools. So yeah, there is no fooling around that this isn't the original video. So with that said, I think this is pretty much it. This is how you guys can create an AI influencer. If you got the value from this video, make sure you click on thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I will leave every single tool linked in the video description below. So with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.